Hey, it's Tim here, and I'm gonna be showing you through some of the most important Tableau keyboard shortcuts that you should be using today in the product. Now, the thing about keyboard shortcuts is we all know they help things go faster. Uh, keyboard shortcuts are designed to make certain functions easier to reach and easier to use. But not many people actually go to documentation like I have done here and actually look at the keyboard shortcuts that are available to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize some of the key shortcuts you need to use. Now this video is focused on the Mac. I have another video focused on Windows popping up in your screen above and also in the description below. Check that out. Otherwise, let's get stuck in. And by the way, at the end, let me know which is your favorite shortcut having watched this video. Okay, let's get stuck in. Okay, so we're inside of Tableau Desktop and I'm gonna show you the first shortcut. I haven't even opened any workbook and if I hit Command N, it opens up a new instance of Tableau straight away. So let's say I want to work on three things at the same time. No one can multitask, but if you wanted to, you can open up multiple workbooks at the same time and it takes you right into the first sheet. So you don't even have to connect to data to get this to work, it opens up straight away. Now we've still got this open before I open any other workbook to show you some worksheet shortcuts. Hit Command T and this actually opens up new worksheets for you. This is much faster than going to the same menu up here to the top and selecting worksheet. It's also much faster than moving your mouse all the way down to the bottom here and finding the new worksheet options just available uh, here for you to see. Now for this next one, I'm actually gonna close this new workbook and I'm gonna open up one of the sample Superstore workbooks because we need a worksheet that's already been built. So here we are, we're inside of a worksheet. I'm just gonna go onto this chart over here on the right hand side. Let's open that up and now I'm inside this worksheet. Let's say I'd like some information about this worksheet, maybe even have a description of how this worksheet is built. Hit Command E on a Mac and it actually opens up the sheet description. Now this is a shortcut that when I first discovered it, I just couldn't believe it had been there the whole time. It pretty much tells you what's on the sheet. It's a, it's a pretty computer built sort of description, but it's actually pretty accurate. Uh, if you read it from line to line, uh, even tells you what's on the marks panes, what's on the shelves, rows, columns, filters, the dimensions, any sort of uh, calculations that are being brought through, uh, whether they're measures or dimensions, it pretty much covers everything, including even the data source. Super handy when you need to get some information or maybe even send someone some documentation on a particular sheet to tell them how exactly you've built it. Let's say I want to navigate to some of the other sheets really, really quickly. If you hold shift, command, and then bracket, it actually goes backwards. And if I go bracket forward, it actually goes bracket forward there. So this is a really handy way of navigating through sheets really, really quickly, again, without having to grab your mouse, find your way to the right tab, only to realize it's the wrong one. You can just very, very quickly sort of shift through sheets and get through them much, much faster. Now, another one is obviously Command S. Everyone should know that, that saves your workbook. Here's a couple you might not know. Let me just cancel this. And instead, if I hit Command Q, well on a Mac that normally closes the workbook and closes Tableau. But if I hit Command W, it asks me, do I wanna save this workbook? I'll hit don't save, because this is a sample workbook. And actually it takes me back to the launch screen. Now, I know lots of people are trying to do this. What actually most people do is they quit Tableau, then they open it again. Well, if you don't have to do that, you just close the workbook and it brings you back to the starting point. You can just start working on the next thing or even use this quick open access menu here to get to the next workbook that you want to work on. It's a really handy time saver and I hope you're gonna use it as much as I do. Okay, for this next one, I'm gonna need you to pay a lot of attention because I'm gonna be switching from an ad hoc calculation to the data search pane. So let's go ahead and double click in the uh, row shelf here. This opens up an ad hoc calculation. I type my calculation, sum of cells, and I hit enter to autocomplete that, close the brackets, then I go to add sum of something else and I forget what the field I want is. I can't remember which version I'm supposed to be using. So watch this, as I hit command F, this actually changes the focus to the data search pane. I can then use some of the new search parameters, M colon, to search for a measure called profit. And then you see here that there's only one that I actually need, and it's this one over here, profit. So I can drag that in, and that's another little tip here. You can always drag these comments straight into the calculation window, and boom, we have our calculation and it's finished. So the key focus there is that we're actually able to change the cursor's focus from my ad hoc calculation to the data search pane search function and then finish my calculation back in the ad hoc space. 
Now, one thing to note, this doesn't work if you've already got the calculation window open because this calculation window is almost stealing the focus of whatever you're doing. So if your cursor's in here, it's not going to work. So if I just type in something here, hit Command F, you'll see nothing changes. I just continue typing in here. But if you leave this calculation window open, you go back to your ad hoc calculation, you start typing something there, hit Command F, it does change. So you need to make sure that the main focus of what you're working on is actually the workbook and not some other modal window like this calculation window that's sort of stealing your focus. Okay, and that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and clean this up so we don't have this broken calculation in our view. Now this next one's so cheeky, you, you'd be surprised you've never even tried it before. Command R, what does that do? It simply refreshes a data source. Let's say you're connected live to a database and you just need a fresh set of data or you need to make sure you're seeing the latest data in the database, hit Command R and you'll get a nice live little pool of data from your database or whatever live data source you're connected to. Okay, for this next one, we're gonna to need to go to a table and here we are, I'm using the what if forecast in the sample workbook now. I actually think the documentation is slightly wrong here because if I if I show you this, it says make the rows narrower. Control, command, and left arrow. Let's go ahead and use that a second. So let's go ahead and hit back inside the tableau. Control, command, left arrow. Now, to me, that made the columns narrower, but they've actually said the rows narrower. That to me is not right. So this should actually say make the columns narrower, and it should say make the rows taller or shorter. But in the documentation, they've sort of got it slightly the wrong way around. So if that catches you out, that's just something to be aware of. But the shortcut is pretty much the same. So we're using control, command, left, right, down, up, and uh, um, that's everything actually. Yeah, so let's go ahead and, and try that. So let's hit control, command. Now we're gonna make the rows taller, make the rows shorter, make the columns uh, narrower, make the columns wider. And I'm just basically holding control command and using the up and down arrows to do this. So it's a really nice, fast way of doing this in a uniform way and making sure everything's working. And don't forget command B to make everything smaller uniformly, command shift B to make everything larger in a uniform way. That's a great shortcut if you're working with tables a lot and um, you shouldn't be building tables, but if you have to, well, this might just help it make it less painful. Okay, for this next one, I'm in a blank worksheet because I wanna show you something really cool. I bet you've never tried this before. Let's go ahead and bring category onto rows and sales onto column. If I select subcategory, then I hit option shift and then O. I added it to the color pane without using my mouse. That's some pretty freaky cool stuff. So I select the field, then I hit the shortcut option shift and O is the identifier for the color section here in the marks pane. If I go ahead and remove that, select subcategory again, and I hit option, shift, X. Surprise, surprise, it puts subcategory on the X axis, which in this case is the row shelf. If I hit option, shift, Y, it adds it to the, co uh, to the column shelf, which is obviously the Y axis. And this chart is obviously now broken. It doesn't make sense. If I remove subcategory from the X axis, in fact, if I just remove it from there at all, it doesn't make sense in this format, then it works a lot better. Now I've shown you the most important ones, but of course, if you head to the Tableau documentation, let me bring it back in view here you can see that there's actually quite a few. So every single shelf has its own shortcut and it all starts with option shift. And honestly, uh, where it makes sense, uh, it makes absolute sense what the shortcuts are. X and Y for the rows and shelf, uh, T for the text and labels, that makes absolute sense. S for the shape, R for rows, shelf, P for pages. Um, it makes absolute sense and C for columns. So you can do things in multiple ways. You don't just have to hit X and Y. Uh, the, the most obvious ones and also the uh, sort of phonetic ones also work in this particular case. So a really great set of shortcuts to be aware of. Um, once, you, once you know these shortcuts, it gets so, so, so easy to start to use them more often. The last one while we're here is swapping columns and rows. Now, typically there's this shortcut here where you can just go ahead and click on that and it actually does this for you here in the top uh, toolbar. But one you can just use yourself is Control, Command, W. Now, Control, Command, W, boom, and we're done. Okay, so you hit that again and we're done. So if you're just in the flow of analysis, you don't want to touch your mouse, you can just keep doing that. And it's actually much faster. I think I can do it uh, three times before 
I find the cursor, it'll go up, hit the wrong thing, switch it. Uh, <laughs> you can see how completely maligned that. It just shows you a ex perfect example of why you should be using this. It's just much, much, much faster once you know them, okay? Now, the other thing is if you're on a Mac, there is one thing that Windows users just don't have. It's nothing specific to Tableau. It's in fact, just a Mac feature that you get with every application. And that is if you go to the help bar, you can actually search for functions here, okay? So let's say I want to open a new worksheet, okay? If I go over here and I hover over, it actually shows me where that thing is. And whilst it's there, if there's a shortcut, it actually shows me the shortcut in the menu option. So this is something that you know Windows users just don't get. Mac users have this day in, day out. So if you're a Mac user, absolutely use this. Let's say you can't find something and it's relating to dashboards. Well, just type uh, dashboards. You, you need to be able to spell. I, I can't seem to do that today. Um, but you see it highlights the location in the menu. And this makes it so much easier to get to certain things and understand where they are. One thing I can never find are the settings for tables. So if I just type in table and I can go here and it actually gives me all the table layout options. So these options, I never remember where they are. I'm always sort of hunting for them uh, down below. And again, you can see some of these shortcuts are highlighted in the menu as we navigate through these. So this is a bit of a trippy thing to sort of move your cursor through, but again, it's an absolute lifesaver if you're a Mac user. Now to finish off this video, I'm just gonna remind you again, head on over to the shortcuts page and you'll find a list of really cool shortcuts. I couldn't possibly cover every single one of them. I'm gonna be doing another shortcut video, this time focused on interface shortcuts. So these aren't keyboard shortcuts, they're shortcuts and little hacks almost you can use to make building certain things faster by clicking and dragging or doing things you wouldn't think are possible to make it easier to manipulate certain aspects in Tableau. So be sure to check that video out. Now, the last set of shortcuts I wanna show you are for Tableau Online and Tableau Server. You, you can't get away with shortcuts just in desktop. You're gonna to have to implement them online as well because Tableau Online and Tableau Server are quickly becoming one of the easiest places to create new workbooks straight from the data sources already available to you in Tableau Server. So let's go through some shortcuts for this too. Now, earlier on, I showed you how to do new worksheets. Now, on Tableau Online, it's slightly different because the browser shortcuts can kind of intersect some of the desktop shortcuts we were using. So for this one, Command, Option, or Alt, T opens a new sheet. So you can see here, I now have sheet two. Let's do that again, Command, Option, T, T, T. I'm gonna hit that a little bit more. And you can see it's not as fast as desktop, but it does actually open up new tabs. And you can see that changing in front of you. With Tableau Online, it doesn't make as much sense because you'd think that this is saving all the time, but if you hit Command S, it actually gives you the option to save the workbook. Now, in real terms, it's not really gonna lose your work, but actually when you hit Command S for the first time, what you're actually doing is putting your workbook in a particular project. So it's a really handy shortcut to know because what I'd personally do is open the workbook and immediately save it uh, so that I make sure that it's in the right place and for some reason, it just gives me confidence. Now, I, I smash Command S all the time in Tableau Desktop. It does do some auto saving in the background, but I, I just hit Command S out of habit all the time. So this is great to know also for Tableau Online. Now, I'm not gonna save this workbook. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. But the other shortcut you might want to know, let's say you've built something out. Let's just say we bring a category onto rows, uh, cells onto columns. I did it again. I built them the wrong way around. I know, I know. So let's rotate this round uh, 90 degrees. And let's say I wanna go into full screen mode. Well, for this one, you just need to hit Command Control F. So Command Control F, that puts you into full screen mode and it takes up the whole screen. Now my full screen just chops off the bottom of the screen so you actually can't see uh, the axis correctly. But actually, if you hit the same shortcuts again, it actually exits the full screen mode. So hit Command Control F again, and now you're back to the view. Now this is handy in the web editor because You've got all the space here at the top that can kind of get in the way. So it's actually quite handy to be able to go full screen mode and just edit your view using the whole entire browser. You can almost forget that you're in the browser version of Tableau uh, desktop or Tableau online. And then hit Command Control F, come out of this world and back into the browser and carry on as you are. Now, one of the last shortcuts I'll show you here is that obviously holding command still works when you click and drag something. So if you hit command, then drag category onto color, it actually copies the field. And in this case, creates a copy that goes onto the color pane. And then we have um, the bars colored by category. So that's again, a really nice, short, handy feature. Now, the key thing to remember with these shortcuts, especially on WebEdit is 
browser shortcuts can sometimes clash. So an example is Command D. That's actually a documented shortcut for opening up the data pane. But in Chrome, it actually clashes with the ability to add a bookmark. So you can't actually see it on screen here because it's in, in another window. But um, you have to make sure that some of these shortcuts actually work in your particular setup, depending on the browser you're using uh, and or depending on how you set up other applications to use those shortcuts if they're application-wide or OS-wide shortcuts. So that's pretty much it. That's all the shortcuts that I could possibly show you in one video. I hope you find some of them useful. Let me know some of the most useful shortcuts in the comments below. Uh, and I hope you start to get your fingers used to these shortcuts. And I hope it makes your workflow a little bit faster. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you don't like the video, let me know in the comments below and we'll try and improve the quality of the content that we're producing. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next one.